Hello, and welcome to our new workshop. In this workshop, we would like to show you how you can learn in documents in Paper Office and store them automatically. With the AI based intelligent storage, Paper Office can automatically recognize all your documents, as well as index them, read out the entire content, and then automatically place them in the correct destination folder. However, the document must first be learned in for this. Simply add the document to be learned in. For example, by drag and drop to Paper Office. Automatic storage rules can, of course, also be applied to a scanned document. Then select the PIA Storage Mode Display Storage dialog so that you can learn in the document in the next steps. After the document has been dragged into the Paper Office interface or added in some other way, Paper Office starts the recognition process. The process takes a short moment. Paper Office indicates that the document is unknown. Click on Learn in Document Now to learn in this document. First, assign a unique name for the document template. Check whether the check mark next to the field Document Recognition is Active has been set. This means that the intelligent recognition of the current document template has been activated and it will be recognized the next time it is saved. The learning in of the document templates takes place via a total of two recognition features. First is the visual recognition. If you regularly save documents in Paper Office where the head and foot area never change due to the logo, such as in invoices from T-Mobile, Google, or other suppliers, you can optionally activate the visual recognition of such documents. Mark those areas of the document that always remain the same, such as the area with the logo or stored account details. By clicking these areas with the left mouse button to deselect the area, click on it again with the left mouse button. This means that if Paper Office recognizes this logo or company name, the document template you defined will take effect. Click on Confirm and Continue to get to the second recognition feature. The second recognition feature are the keywords that must appear in the document. Clicking on one of the words transfers it to the left window for automated filing. After this has been transferred to the left window, you can change it manually at any time by left-clicking in the corresponding field and correcting the keyword. If one of the keywords is no longer recognized, you can easily delete them from the left window. The document template is only recognized and executed if the document in question contains exactly all of these keywords. So only save those words that appear in the current document and will not change in the coming documents. Also note the upper and lower case. The keyword you have entered must appear on the document exactly the same. By clicking on Click to Test, you can check whether the words actually appear in the document. Click on the Confirm and Continue button to go to the next step. Optionally, the Paper Office AI can find certain document values completely independently, read them out, and provide them as variables. Paper Office PIA extracts the entire raw text from the document and places it like a layer over the transparent preview view of your document. Paper Office tries to keep the document layout as good as possible. Since this process is extensive, it is described in detail in another workshop. Click on Confirm and Continue to finish the learning process of the document template. Congratulations! Paper Office now recognizes the predefined document template based on the defined identifiers. Now save the document template by clicking on Save Document Template and Define Storage Mask. And in the next step, define a storage mask for this document. The Storage Mask Administration opens. Now click on Create New Storage Mask. Now you can define the storage mask rules for this kitchen document. In the previous step, you define the recognition features. Now you have to define what should happen to the document when it is recognized. First, define the storage folder in which the document will be saved if the document template recognition takes effect. To do this, click on the Select button and select any folder on the left. In the area of the dates, explicitly Date on Document, variables can be used to automatically read out information from the document and to store it in document properties. The process of reading out the variables is explained in detail in a separate workshop. However, you can also use other variables which are provided under the Variables tab. They can be used, for example, to automatically read out and save the file name of the documents or to enter the date. Click the copy icon to copy a variable to the clipboard. 
Click again on the Basic tab to insert the variable. In our example, the variable today is entered in Inbox On. This means no matter when the document template with the stored storage mask takes effect, the current date is entered as the date of the inbox. Now click on Advanced and if necessary, enter the document status. For example, has to be checked in the document type Receipt. You can store further document information under the tab Receipt and Custom. After you've filled in all the required fields, click on Save Change to create a new storage mask. Enter a name for the new mask in the next step and confirm the entry. Now click on the green button to activate the storage mask for the document template. Paper Office now analyzes the document again and recognizes the document template that has just been stored as well as the associated recognition features in the assigned storage mask. Now click on Save and the document will be saved in the folder defined in the storage mask. As you can see, the document was placed in the folder we assigned and provided with the relevant document information such as document type receipt and status has to be checked. Goodbye Paper Chaos, welcome Digital Office. If you want to find out what additional functions Paper Office has, please visit our other videos and subscribe to our channel.